The only time I'll be going to bed with a d No. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask I him. said home alone one, if that's the second one. What are you Just going to the second in. one for? Christmas, like family's falling out, everything was great, an hour to go, no. now look at this. <laughs> you go into certain games where you go, we take a draw today. Yeah, yeah. No one says yeah, it, yeah, yeah, we yeah. all know it. <laughs> so the manager always comes in a bit late, right, starts to meet, I'll take a f***ing draw today. So <laughs> 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 would I. He'll go, Lee, tell Tony, to tell Nigel, to tell Ray, to tell Wrighty. <laughs> Make some runs. <laughs> Uh, there was effort put into this. Yeah, but you have a family, so it was a family... Oh, OK, OK. Oh, so <laughs> Look to the future now, it's only just begun. I've missed you because I've been away. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We've missed you, Jill. We have missed you. Do you know something? Big announcement in the last week as well that Ian is leaving Match of the Day. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. it's an institution and we'll miss you on Saturday nights. I didn't realise how long you've been there, to be honest, when know. they put it on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's Gary Lineker. Is he? Yeah. I don't know. Hey, I don't you, know. You did a walker's ad. Here we go, let's get that oh, off. Right. This is where Roy was telling us we shouldn't do commercials. It was, yeah. It was for charity. <laughs> How much did you get paid? It's the it? most. It's, it's the most like. Believe it or not, I don't think I got paid for it. Oh, I never put it in a way. I'm I'm serious. Let's get Walker's on me. Let's get Roy's walkers. But in miserable level. Did you get paid? I don't think I'm I'm serious. Oh, that's no. a shock. Let me see. Oh, my God. Oh, Is that you? To be honest, it's not good. Was that the one? It's quite a happy leprechaun, huh? Wow. Oh, my Is that with Gary Lineker? Yeah, look at Gary. That's Gary Lineker. He looks like a fan who's come over. We all make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Can we, uh... That's not your worst. Charity, by the way, charity. Every I, penny went to charity. His ability to have a go... Is there anything any of us would... His ability... It. Is it... <laughs> yes. Is, yes, there is. is, is go in the jungle. <laughs> Welcome to our Stick to Football Christmas special brought to you by Skybet and I'm delighted to be joined by Jill Scott, Roy Keane, Ian Wright and Jamie Carragher. And we've all bought each other a present. Yeah. And Ian? Yes. I'm going to start with you. Lovely. OK. Who was your secret Santa present to be gifted to? Jill Scott. Oh. OK. Oh, easy. Shall Perf I give it to her now? Perfume, it has to be. <laughs> yes. So and, and the criteria was that it had to be <laughs> under, <laughs> under £20. Pounds. 20 pounds. Yeah. 20. The only thing you can buy a woman is perfume. Yeah. There you go, Jill. Oh, oh, thank you yeah. so much. Like it. Thank you. Did you actually go and buy this? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I went and sorted that. Oh, yeah. You've wrapped it and everything. I haven't well, even you wrapped know. mine. Have a, get. Have a look at it. It's oh. called oh. Snugsy. Who the hell's that? <laughs> look, no, it's so, it's so... <laughs> <laughs> is it a dick? <laughs> oh, it is. Take it, take it out. Yeah, oh. it is. Take it out so we can oh. see what it is. That's it out, so that lovely. That it's it's nice. Nice. Oh. <laughs> little teddy. To be fair, when I see you, I give all these a cuddle and you never give us a she hug. Never give so us now hug. I can give you a hug. No, no, I, at I, home. I, I'm not, that, that's not my scene. Look. Oh. oh. Yeah, that, <laughs> Are you happy, Jill? Yeah. No, nice. your face. Gonna, really? yeah. I made sure I use the eyes as well. Look how weird. Oh, how... thank you so much. <laughs> you like that? You like that, didn't you? Oh. It's nice. <laughs> the it's only time I'll be going well, to bed. You know, 20 quid. I think I'm, I, I think want to know where the facial's from. <laughs> He's just got that text off my no, no, no. tailor. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the only time I'll be going to bed with a dick. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jill. <laughs> oh my god, Jill. You could have said big. Thank you. Oh my god, that's, oh god, you that's got me. the end of the episode. That's it. That's it. That's, it. that's, it. that's done with We've done it. We've completed, it. completed, <laughs> completed podcasts. Oh, oh thank brilliant. you. Lovely. Nice. Jill, right. Jill, who were you tasked with by the Oh, so for? I got Roy. You got a proper person, um, me. You're a nice guy. I got Roy, and basically, I'm going. <coughs> he started to do a bit of modelling. Right, right. Okay, yeah. so okay. that's you, isn't it? Modelling. Yeah. So. so I got you a couple of things. So I got you some false tan, which has exploded. So I'm wow. sorry about oh, can we, that. Can we, can we put some on? Can we have some false tan on Roy, please? Yeah, can we put some false tan on Roy for this episode, please? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little. It's empty. I think it's exploded. It's empty. I think it's, it's exploded. Here, Gary, you shake it. You're good at it. Yeah. <laughs> I think, it's empty. Can you put it's some on right? I think it's empty. For real. <laughs> oh, God. It's it's my no, you're going to you no, you got to rub it on, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I think it's empty. I think it's empty. Leave him then. Leave it's him empty. Then. It's That's a hell of a present. It's empty, Jill. <laughs> it's exploded. Right, I got you a couple of earrings. Oh. Here for your, for your modelling. Oh. Okay. I got <laughs> nice. you a cap. 
Let me see okay. that. Because I think you need to, there's going to be a lot younger people coming on the yeah. modelling scene. Is this all but in the budget? Yeah. <laughs> £20 pound is the budget. Yeah. And if modelling keeps going well, you might get up oh. your ears. We're talking. Okay. How, how smart are they? <laughs> <laughs> no, he will see if he's got a big day. <laughs> <laughs> but Thank also, you. also, <laughs> because <laughs> to put even in. Freddie Lundberg, that's right. a false time. Uh, thank you. Even, <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> even Freddie yeah. Lundberg Thanks. had to have some socks, so there you R go. Lovely. Well done, Jill. Jill you right. Put out right, so Cara, take that's, these home. That exploded. Right. Oh, I, I was you, wasn't I? Oh, yeah, you were. Yes, yeah. I right. was you. So uh, I've got you a couple of presents. Uh, you know, this relationship's been going on a long time and yeah. I've got to think of, like, my greatest moments alongside. We've had a lot of ups and downs. Are you opening the forum? Oh, yeah. sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was it? I just wanted you to put it on the map. Oh, piece. I love those. Oh, that's oh, nice. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's cool. cool. Jamie, yeah. that's got, sweet, bro. That's cute. He's got the Liverpool Man United commentary picture. That's beautiful. That has to go there. Let me that's see it. I want to see it. I it's, love that. It's quite nice. I love these. It's, 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 it's very thoughtful. Yay. Oh, that's so how much cute. Are they on, how much are they on Liverpool? It's £12. I love them. Uh, I know you will wear this a lot. Maybe not in front of Emma. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Victoria's Secret, then. <laughs> <laughs> Getting it on. <laughs> oh. 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 The suspense is killing us. Give us a look. <laughs> it's Baby Spice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was the one that you really, really wanted. <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh. Thank you, Roy. Cara. Very thoughtful. Roy. Is there only me? No, it's me and Roy left. Oh. Um, I'll go with... I'll go first. Leave Roy till last. So, Ian. Yes? <coughs> I got you to start with a... Oh, nice wrapper, Pip. It's really nice. Spanish, yeah, we did it really nicely. Spanish. I've got you two, two serious presents, because a lot of respect coming that way. Wow, well, girl. You made me go really serious. Shall I do that thing where you open it, like... Like my missus opens it and she takes all the stuff off like this and keep. I say, what are you saving the paper for? <laughs> oh, oh, lovely. Uh, oh. There you go. Oh, it's, that's it's, cute. That's lovely, Gary. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I've got, I know you love these, so I had to buy you one of these. But What's with, this? A, with, with a Mancunian twist. Okay. Oh. God, God, I just. Uh... <laughs> La... Did you hear about the guy who got caught hey, sealing a calendar? Nice one. He was in court and he got 12 months. I bet it's massive. My head's... Yeah. <laughs> oh, is, is it too big? No, no, no. It'd be fine. Oh, I like it. What's it. the Mancunian angle? <laughs> it's, the Mancunian angle is it's, got, it's the stone roses with oh, the lemon on. Oh, yeah. I'd wear that. I think it's a bigger one. No, is no, 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 because I just wear it like that. Show them the lemon. Show them the lemon for stone lemon roses. Lemon. It's a bit big, but we'll have to... Because I love lemons, lemon. everybody knows. The lemon underneath the hat. <laughs> well, that's just been me. That's lovely, isn't it? Right, Roy, over to you. But I didn't. I got a proper present. I thought we were. I didn't know I was going to be Being kind nice. of joking. I try the hat on. Box. Oh. Try, try the hat. Let me see on you. You haven't wrapped that with like a bow not. and everything. That looks good on you. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Oh, easy, easy shaking it. <laughs> Jesus. Gal, <laughs> I like that. I wear that. Well done. It's, 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 it's family, it's, 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 don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's actually really good. Yeah, oh, nice 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 nice. Nice. yeah. Sorry, yeah, I, yeah. So. Just, yeah. I got a bit serious with it. Yeah, I thought yeah. I was. Oh, oh, we'll have a game that. later. Yeah, yeah. thought we'd be mature about it. I don't this. like Sorry. it when boys being nice. It was suggested I bring a couple of league medals. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it was. I thought, no way, we're better than that. We are. Better we are. Than that. We are. And I couldn't find them. That's right, I love oh, thank cool. you. We've all got to pull our Christmas crackers because there are some questions inside. Oh. Go on. So do we have to do that thing like this? Yeah, not that one. Yeah, that, that, that's it. it. You were cheating there. You grabbed it. Oh. Oh, oh, I was. No. Oh, I'm not cheating. I'll I can't, share. No, you I'm a I can't help me. cheating. With it's inside. There's something inside. <sighs> Just like boys' boxes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Here we go. Right. Here we go. I don't oh, yeah, yeah. OK. Oh. If you've got a question, right. then I need my I'll open this one. Right. Is the one out of there? Um. Right, should I ask my question? Yeah, yeah. please right. do. I've lost mine. Oh, there, in, it, oh, there they are. In Home Alone 1, where are the McAllisters going when they leave Kevin? Oh. Home Alone 1. Oh. The first one? Yeah. What where, city they're going where, to? What city are they going to? Where, where are they in the you film? Huh? Where, are, where, are, where, are, where are they in the film? What are you talking about? Home Alone 1. You've watched Home it, Alone yeah. 1? You've watched it? Yeah, but they must be somewhere. So where are they going So to? they're from America. <clears> they're going somewhere. 
Oh, so oh. going to New York or something? New York's no, 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 no. a second one somewhere. New York. Paris. New York. Who did you say? Paris. Where, where, They're in Chicago to start with. Right, all right, all right. All right. So, what do you think? Where'd yeah, you but think? New York was the second one. New York is the fit. Yeah, well, lost in New York, you would know it's that. It's the second Why? one, yeah. right. I'm just asking! I said Home Alone 1, if that's the second one. What are you just going to the second in. one for? Just checking. Christmas, right? Christmas Family's Christmas falling out. Everything was great an hour ago. No, look at this. Where do you think they were going? Jill says Paris. Oh, I think you might be right. I think you might be right, Jill. I don't know. Yeah. You're obsessed know. with Paris today. That's what you got. Mm. Well, got I don't like Paris. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I got shot. Is it? That was January. Is it? Paris? <laughs> Paris is correct. Right. Yeah, Paris. Oh, yes! Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well done, Jill. Thank you. Right, Cara. Right, name the song, artist, and the year of this Christmas number one. Snow is falling all around me. Shaky Stevens. Yes. Shaky Stevens. Right? Yeah. You'll so know what's the, the song? It's all um, you'll know. Um, it's not too Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. And what year? He was the first musician I ever remember, Shaky Stevens. Late 70s. 70s. That was 81. I'm going 81. Late 70s. 81 79. or 82. 70s behave. Is it earlier or, or, or...? It's... No, it's not them. They're a little bit out. <laughs> I was alive then. Eight. <laughs> 81, 85. 85. He's lip reading. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 85. Yeah. Was it that Merry like? Christmas. Speaking of music, yeah. I turned the telly on Kylie Minogue concert and then... Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, nice oh, oh, the groups I'm working on. Oh. Surprise you with this. No. Yeah. I, I got invited, but um, of course I you wasn't. Did. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, isn't that Jamie? He dancing to Kylie. Go on, Sam. It's like... Uh, Why have you gone red? <laughs> I know. <laughs> you got like, that fake tan. I, I like having a little boogie. Yeah. 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 But not fun yeah. of everybody. But then, like, you haven't had a drink. And you, I, was, I was doing that side-to-side <laughs> one, you know, like that. I was like, oh, no. Fucking who was there? Lenny Henry was there. <laughs> yeah, there was one of the was it? There was a small concert, but there's loads the of famous Hall. people than Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, and then... <laughs> <laughs> She's been away for a while. Eh? She's oh, really happy. She's she stored all these up. Yeah, she's stored these up. Our so. podcast has gone through the roof in the last few weeks. Sure, yeah. I have missed you. <laughs> right, Jill, question for you. What is it? Oh, actually, this is where I was. Where is Lapland? Oh, Mexico? You went. <laughs> you went. Is it up near, like, it's up there somewhere? It's, it's not Finland. Finland. It's well yeah. done. Finland. You've been... Yeah. Does it mean to say, I fucking know where it is, right? Get off my she back, will you? She must have got on a plane and knew where you... Just wore your hat and it looked better on me. Did Easy. you enjoy that? Did you enjoy that? <laughs> no, it's, it's stressful. <laughs> it was stressful. Lapland's stressful. When you go with kids, long flight... No, it's magical. Yeah. Long flight, how long yeah, is it? if you're a child. <laughs> how long? So that man, like, there and back in the day, isn't it? Yeah, did Jesus, one day. Did you go there and back in the day? Yeah. Did you? I think so. Yeah. It's too much. <laughs> in a day, it is. I can't see it's... you adding Christmas cheer. Oh, but he is. He's not the Grinch. I was. I was what is, there, is that? It is that the questions? Yeah. Did you not get a oh, question? Oh, you got a question, Roy. You got a question. question. In Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Okay, sorry. What was the first name of Scrooge? Ebenezer. Yeah. Oh. He's a good, he's a good. <laughs> <laughs> you were quick with that, weren't you? Oh. Hey, but he's a Scrooge. Eh? Oh. Do you not get a question? Right, are you in a film coming out in the next couple of weeks called The Kitchen? Yeah. yeah. What's it about? It's, uh, <laughs> you're out of order, right? What is it about? Me. What is it about? It's about, it's about um, a Don't dystopian... You're going to be at the premiere when it comes uh, out. Don't a a dystopian That's future London, um, where, you know, the, it's, it's about a young man and a young boy trying to bond in a very oppressive society with a, a community um, of people who are being like oppressed and stuff like that. And I'm the, I'm the kind of like the voice, the, the, the DJ voice that's explaining what's going on. The narrator. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'm on the D, I'm like the DJ who gives An actual DJ the, as in like? Yeah, so there's music, like the stuff there. So I play the music, so I'm the radio station and I'm the Lord Kitchener in it. Oh. And, um, you know, to give them the information on what's going on. It was, um, it was, it was how'd you intense. How would you get a gig in a film? Daniel Kaluuya, you know, the great Daniel Kaluuya. And Kibwe Tavares is, like, is, is the director. But Daniel, he, he got in touch with me and said, listen, there's something coming up and I think that you'll be good for it. Because I, I had to audition for it and to do the lines, I had to send them voice notes, I had to do the stuff. And it was, I was doing it till two, three in the morning sometimes trying to get the right tone because... So are you yourself or do you have to put an no, accent no, on No, no, no. So um, give, give us a bit of an accent. Give us, give us no, something. No, I didn't do an accent. This is it. What I'm saying, oh, right. yeah. but with All a right. little bit more deepness, and because like what's going on, people are coming in, like military are coming in and just taking people, people oh. are disappearing and killing people. So it's a serious thing, and so I wanted to make sure that I had the right tone mm. 
mm. in what I was doing because like when you speak to, to Daniel, he's saying, listen, we want you to do it, but you know, it has to be right because the, our people see you in the community as that uncle who's gonna give you the right advice, give you, you know, give you that kind of like mentoring and tell you what's going on. And you know, when I first started, I, I couldn't get it. I, I, was, yeah. I was too scared. And then when, when I actually filmed it, there were so many people there. You know what I mean? And I felt very... Um, and did, could you read your lines or did you have to remember? No, I don't remember. remember. Out, out, out your comfort zone. <laughs> very much out of comfort zone. And that's why I wanted to do it in the first place because yeah. it's not something I want to do. You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, you know, I want to be an actor. You know what I mean? It, it's like, it's funny because when I said about the match of the day, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm thinking, that I'm, I'm, I'm leaving that. And then this came out not long after it. So everyone was like, oh, is that what he's going to do? No, I'm not going to act. It's just something that in the moment was a good opportunity. And it was quite nice to do something that is totally different and made me feel like, it's like, you know, I, I, I don't know, it's like when we made our debuts, that first nerves and energy. And then when, it's, when, when, when you got this massive set and then you're the only person that's speaking in it and then it all goes quiet and then they go, and action. Some of the time my, my stomach like mm. went mm. And then you just try to, <laughs> you just try to, just try to get into it, but it was, an amazing experience simply because it's not, I'm not in it for long. I've got some, some dialogue in it, but like it was amazing trying to get into a character of something was happening that you, you have to try and portray. And some of the stuff I had to go deep back into my, my childhood to try and get into the, into the energy of the disappointment that I'm feeling and the, the, the betrayal. You know what I mean? And the oppression, it was fucking deep. Uh, Hollywood, Hollywood next? No, nope. no, 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 we're not going we Hollywood. Come and visit, yeah. No, 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 we're not going Hollywood. Anyone else been any shows, acted in any films, shows? <laughs> You've been acting all your life, haven't you? <laughs> I'd love to Full be back. an extra in Combination Street. <laughs> Seriously? That's one of oh, you my get that, like, long dreams. Seriously? Yeah. Just yeah. standing in the corner? Just like sitting in Roy's calf with a cup of tea. Like, that's one of my lifelong, like, ambitions. Yeah, we could probably make that happen. Yeah, yeah. maybe. You, well, you're not an Irish show, Roy. I can oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. What was the what young was offenders? Yeah, young offenders, yeah. Was what was it? Did you, have, did you, have, did you yeah. have lines? 50, 60 lines, yeah. It was a very small part. No, I literally <laughs> said, I think it was two lines, yeah. But it's a good, have you ever seen it, Young Offenders? No. Mm. no. Really good. It's obviously based in Cork about these two young lads who were a bit, a bit wild. Yeah, I forgot. What, what was your called. lines? That's his job. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think I, asked for, I think I asked for some fish and chips. They were like selling, they were in, obviously walking in a, a Chippy. chip van. No, the chip van. It's a chip van. They ran a football match. And I think I asked them for some fish and chips and they said, we're short. And I think they swore at me because they were like really rude. Yeah. Were you allowed to read it off the paper? No, no, no. Do you remember two, that's the thing. That's, what, that's, the, that's the frightening thing. Is because you've got to do something that's a very serious too. film. And so you have to make sure that you, you, you hit it right. It yeah. was nerve wracking because even now, you know what I mean? It's something that you think to yourself, is that, I don't want to When's see it. When's it out here? 19th. 19th of Jan. Is it a premiere? Um, no, we we kind of done the premiere. Oh, you've already done it, right? Yeah, yeah we kind of. Did you not get invited? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, we watch um, it. What side is that? Is it's it? going to be on Netflix. Oh wow! Ooh, Ooh, look at you. Nice stuff. He said Don't that so us casually. Now, on, yeah. Netflix. Seen in a few months, but like, who no, 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 like, no. Yeah. It's not. It's, it's uh, not I mean. It's not. It's not a massive part. Remember when Vinny, when Vinny done. Um, Lockstock. Lockstock, and yeah. you know, we were waiting for him. He was magnificent. It's not that level, man. Oh. It's just like I've got a little part. Vinny. I'm going to tune in, Cuddling Roy. Nice, man. <laughs> look, look at all God. Don't, no, don't show kids any. Don't show kids that. Jill, you were at the Sports Personality of the Year yep. Awards last night, and what a <clears throat> great night for. Yeah, Marriott so good. The women's game. Yeah, no, it was really good. I think two lionesses now have won it. I think Mary, a very deserved winner. Um, obviously, our performances have been incredible. And yeah, it was good. It was good. I didn't go to the after party because obviously got an important podcast today because I do mine after this. Um, so yeah, it was... A... <laughs> <laughs> it was a... She is hammering us. No, it was, it was a really... Your own's done well for you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was a really good night, really good. And I think obviously Mary He's just a fantastic character. But yeah, we were talking, weren't we, about when you win awards and going to support your teammates. So I really wanted to be there. You were saying Thank about you. one of your awards, yeah. weren't you? Listen, obviously, I've got the other side of that. I've obviously won a Manny Award. I won. Wouldn't have been sports personality. Year, but none of my teammates were there. None of them. No. None of them. No one went from the whole Manny There must United have been team. a reason, Gal. Uh, there, there will be there a must reason. Because there's there no be way. Gary will find one, don't we? <laughs> find one. There will be a reason why we didn't go. We always went to support our teammates. 
But anyway, you're, you're in a team anyway. It doesn't matter about individual awards, does it? No. Mm. It's a team no. game, remember. Yeah. That. But it's good that a goalkeeper won it. Like, usually yeah. it's yeah. the strikers and stuff like that. So I think it's good that a goalkeeper's won it because she's had some incredible performances for the, the Lionesses. So, yeah, two Lionesses won it and we'll see who wins it next. Yeah. Roy, you, on Sunday, to be fair, we were walking from the gantry over to the studio. So we actually never saw your little... Little rant that you had. Um, I don't think it was a rant. I Wait, a little bit of a. Oh, the Van Dyke stuff. Yeah, we never saw it. I didn't. Did you see it, James? Yeah, but you're right. Just telling when I was on the way home. We never saw it. Yeah, you're social media. I was thinking. But you're a bit lazy. But you're just throwing. Uh, uh, do you think that was a rant? No, but a little. Right. You know, it, Dick. it helped because you know, again, the game's been hyped up to the fucking eyeballs. And by who? By who? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, obviously we didn't we didn't get the game we was getting, but like that was an interesting one. Just like I, I liked what what you said. Yeah. Just like when I heard James not long ago talk about being a, a player that comes from the area, plays for the club, and what it means to them in respects of what you have to give. So when I heard Roy, because um, Virgil obviously saying about you know only one team came to play, you know what I mean? That's his opinion. It was I was thinking to myself, was he right? I don't, I, don't, I don't think Man United are in a position where you can say uh, Man United are going to go to, like Roy said, Man United are going to go to Liverpool and try and what, just because it's Man United and Liverpool, they've got to go and try and beat yeah. Liverpool in the current climate. It's, it's crazy. Man United and where they are, you know what I mean? The point there is unbelievable. It's yeah. up to Liverpool had the chance to win that game. They should have. United, because, did, well, United didn't exactly pack the bus because no, no, no. Liverpool and they had, had a couple, load of opportunities. Liverpool. But my attitude when players, to me, it doesn't matter even if it's Man United, when they criticise a team for the manager, sometimes your team, we've all been there. Some games is about, and your career, and your, it's about survival. Mm. Staying in the game, yeah. taking a draw. No, I, I admire these players, the players who even disagree with me. I look, obviously, particularly Liverpool the weekend. I've seen Liverpool many times, and I've seen Klopp, particularly when he was at Dortmund, manage Dortmund in big European games, or in Germany when they played, and they would sit in. Mm. And we used to give him praise all the time, going, counter-attack, Dortmund were brilliant. And Klopp got a great reputation on the back of that. And Dortmund's a big club. <laughs> I'm not talking about a small little club. So this idea that a team, even like a Man United, can go away from home and sit in and grind out a draw. I think, I honestly, I think that's OK. We've all been yeah. there where you get a result, you go, that's yeah. we hung in there. Today. We had to, yeah. It's satisfying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you, you, yeah. you, listen, you take yeah. it. And I just think where Man United are, and I was just after the game, I just thought his tone was, they're buzzing with us, uh, only one team to... Man United went to play it, but Man United, had, it's their first league draw. So it's not as if Man United are, are obviously extremes. They've won nine, I think, and lost seven league games. Mm. So they're, Man United are all over the place. So to go away and go, listen, a draw is not the end yeah. of the world. Uh, Arsenal it. and City would be happy with a draw, wouldn't they? Oh, that, that, yeah. yeah. You know, so we and they... Mm. I never said about the performance. The performance was poor from United. I said that from mm. day one. But you can't be... When you're talking about another team, if a, a player is critical of his own team, go, listen, we should have done better. We had opportunities, they got in great areas. But not to be saying, the other team, I, I've been there, we've been there, we've played on the other side of it, where you've played a team and they've hung in there. You have to say... Hey, credit the opposition. I think that gives it, that kind of gives you a little insight into how they're feeling right now because they obviously wanted to win that game. Mm. No, of course, yeah. They obviously he, wanted to, so came, it's frustration, yeah. yeah he, he came back and said, I like Roy Keane. If he said that, then it's fine. He is Manchester United throughout. And I understand he could react like that, but I felt what I said, there is absolutely no arrogance whatsoever. Well, no, again, we can disagree on that. And it's not about yeah. people liking each other, it's just about an opinion. I saw Crystal Palace go to Man City to be no, Crystal Palace aren't Man United. And you should have seen the way they were set up. Mm. And we all praised Roy Hodgson. Mm. And they managed to get a draw. I didn't see anyone from Man City criticising Crystal Palace. The fact it was goals in the game might be slightly different. But I think when, when you're in going into certain games, and again, we've all been there, mm. surviving is the yeah. name of the game. Man United will take the point. But I didn't see United after the game over the top celebrations as if like, oh, well, we're, we're just delighted to get away with a point. They would have took it before the game. Every one of us said before the game, Listen, we all fancy Liverpool, of course. And if I, wonder what turn up. Said, I wonder what he would have said if... But I also they, think... They, listen, no, sorry, Ray. When no, a player's no, no. after... He's entitled to his opinion as yeah, well. Yeah, he's yeah, entitled yeah. to maybe get yeah. something wrong. We've spoke before. I've said something after games when I was, when I was at United going on. I was a bit... I felt it was a bit over the top or whatever. Mm. But I was generally against my own team. I don't think I ever in my career stood in front and criticised a team for the way they played. Because no. every team has to find... different. And I go, I go back... To, I guarantee you... Van Dyke when he was at Celtic or he was at Southampton or Klopp or yeah, people at Liverpool yeah. at different times in their careers at different clubs. That, they've yeah. set, again, this idea if United were even brilliant on the contract, which they weren't, but you have to admire it. That's part of the game as well. 
But yeah. I think we, we've all played in teams, especially away in Europe, where you go 100% us with Julia and mm. Benitez. We'd go to other big clubs and we were a big name. We'd just go in there and try and get you <coughs> nil-nil yeah. and get yeah. them back to Anfield. So in, in an individual game, I agree with you. You shouldn't really be having a maybe a pop at the other team. But I think the United sort of question in that, how they've played in that game. It's more like a bigger picture that it probably tells you where Manchester United are. Exactly. are the exactly. fact they have to play like that to get something at Anfield. So that's, it's almost like a different, that's a different debate. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. I don't think the manager would have gone in saying, we're going to go there and get a draw today. I think it's just they know that that's a win for them at this present moment. And you can tell, can't you? I never had a manager going into a difficult game where you knew you weren't probably going to get anything and they were like, we're just going for a draw today. Jim, can, can I tell you a story? Can I tell you a story? I love it. <laughs> and I love Roy Hodgson for this, right? But Roy's seen as a... He, he wasn't a Liverpool manager. It just didn't quite fit. Mm. But you've worked with him and... He, he's, he's known as like a defensive manager, if, if you like. But listen, he's had a great career, it's gone really well. And uh, listen, we know managers and as players, you go into certain games where you go, we take a draw today. Yeah, yeah. No one says yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We all know it. <laughs> and I love it. I, I love it. Roy just come in and, and he just come in and all the lads are sitting, he's come in. So the manager always comes in a bit late, right, starts to meet, I'll take a fucking draw today. <laughs> <laughs> But you well, might have the, the yeah. plan before oh, the game yeah. might be everyone wants to win, but when the game starts, something we're not at it. Yeah, yeah. you're really good. And that's where the game changes. Well, you uh, know though, because suddenly instead of playing with one holding midfielder, they've dropped someone next to you, and you're like, look, we're going for the draw. It's like later on in games where they bring a defender on, take yeah. a forward off, and the girls yeah. or the boys are going, what we're doing? And I'm like, well, obviously they just want us to try and protect the results. Yeah. So I think Man United, it was a win for them. Like I wouldn't have predicted. And it wasn't a rant. Is it? Yeah. And plus, seeing you, you guys talk, <laughs> I've got more than that. You, 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 you Especially, you, you you gave them no chance. Yeah, you gave them no chance. You weren't with the team though when it came in. I you? thought when the team came in, I saw you know Johnny and yeah. uh, Varane centre half, yeah. and I saw the midfield of Menu and uh, Amrabat. I thought there's just no chance. Menu was unbelievable. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, fantastic. But I'm just, I just didn't think that team could keep a clean sheet. You 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 know them. No, would have done. no. But if no. Liverpool had anything about them going yeah. forward and they were at their best, yeah. then. Yeah, so that's they're, they're they're Liverpool haven't been at the best for a while. I, I said I said it was the worst atmosphere I've ever seen at a Liverpool Manchester United game, and I'm not talking about the sort of when the game was like boring in the last half an hour or you know middle part of the game. I'm talking about the first 10, 15 minutes when usually it's, it's, ro like, it's really raucous. rocking. No, it was like no, it was certainly well, lively at the very no. listen no. the very no. first the best few minutes. moment of the game was the first sort of probably did five you, or six did minutes. You think the atmosphere times. was right on Sunday. I know it's hard for you because you're from Liverpool, but no, I just thought. You've, I mean, to say the worst ever, that's just... I, it's the worst I've seen at Liverpool Man United. You, you can't even remember all the other games, so that's just a, a bizarre thing to say. I've been to about 30 of them in the last 30 years. Can you remember them all, Gal? I yeah. think you so can. So when United yeah. were winning in a game, in the <laughs> Gary's got that vibe, he'll remember them all. Yeah. yeah. But he doesn't remember why he didn't go to the PFA do with me. Yeah. <laughs> but that, it was there was no it was noticeable, especially with all the news that and everything yeah, that's going on there. That can strange. happen, yeah. I think, again, you can build games up, don't you, to be huge. It was strange. And then climax. Oh, wow. Look at this. What is wow. this? Now we're talking about Christmas football. Watch out for that a bit there. Jesus. I'm not, oh, I'm not, even, oh, I'm not even a fan of turkey either. I'm not. You are what you eat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No sprouts, thanks. Anybody who says they like turkey is a liar. She gave it to me first. <laughs> are you <laughs> vegan? Thank you. No, I'm not vegan. Are you vegetarian? No, I'm not vegan. Do you like parsnips? This no. is amazing. But sprouts. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the thing with sprouts. I said, can't have Christmas dinner without sprouts. Yeah, yeah you can. I'll, I'll yeah, you swap can. you the stuffing for the sprouts. No, stuffing's the best part of dinner. Do you like sprouts? No, I don't like sprouts. You always have to have one in the family. Proper Liverpool, that. You won't just give us your sprouts. You've got to get something back. It's got to be a Deal. He won't I even just give us his sprouts. Going to like me. a transfer deal we've done. Yeah. Yeah. Ian. Give me two of them sprouts, but you've got to have three of these pennies. Wow. <laughs> I'd go to my grandmother's for a Sunday dinner and there'd be sprouts and I'd pretend I needed the toilet and I'd just grab them all. Mm. About five or six of them, they just mm. go right down the toilet. If I give <laughs> you lovely. my stuffing, that's like me giving you Harland. <laughs> <laughs> and what am I giving you? Oh, I'm going to kill somebody if I say if I yeah, give you yeah, sprouts. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Do you know what I used to like about it when we used to have, uh, we used to have the Christmas dinner at Carrington? Oh, we've got the shores. And the shows, used yeah, to, used to, so the first year apprentices and the second year apprentices used mm. to have to do a show, a Christmas show. Yeah. And the staff, all the players sat down oh. and all the coaching staff, the manager, would literally serve the players and thank them for oh. the, basically everything during the year. And they would t tidy everything away, they'd bring you Christmas pudding, the players wouldn't have to sit down. You know, it, was, it was unbelievable, oh, wasn't it? That wow. a brilliant day. Did you do anything at Arsenal, Liverpool, City, Jill? We do, well, we've done, we done the lads Christmas do, didn't we? 
you know what I mean? It I was, was, I was that. that we, I was that. We, we did fancy mm. gesture Liverpool. Yeah, I, that's, I always heard about it. I mean, I got invited to a cup, I could never get up. Because I heard about the, the fancy dress Christmas pie. Was that Liverpool, sensible? Was, always... was that sensible? Of course it's not sensible. It's a Christmas <laughs> party, man. It was like they dressed up in... I dressed up like Batman walking down a road and mm. stuff like that, you know? Who's the best outfit you've ever seen, Cara, in Liverpool? All right. Stevie Gerrard had a good one once where he comes <laughs> as an old man. Got like the proper like old face. You got it done. Come on like the, uh, the scooters that they have. <laughs> so got the scooters as well. He was just driving around in the scooter. <laughs> yeah. No, but like we used to have the, I used to love the Christmas party. I went, one, I the last one I can remember, I went as Ridian. Remember Ridian was flying in the X Factor? <laughs> oh, it was yeah. massive. What, you went dressed as him? Yeah, but he was ma it was like the X Factor was massive at the time. That doesn't Christmas justify it. <laughs> Talk to me about turkey. I like turkey. You like turkey? Mm. Oh. Yeah. You know, you know what we had last year? You know, I said it to some mates the other day and then I started a fucking... I started a WhatsApp nice. group because... Because <laughs> <laughs> we, we had cockerel last year and it was unbelievable. Cockles of the little cockerel. fish thing? Cockerel. <laughs> Isn't that mackerel? I think cockles and mussels. <laughs> we had a cockerel. It was unbelievable. We're going to have it again this year. What's a cockerel? It's, it's a, it's a <laughs> what is a cockerel? Chicken, it? It's a male chicken, isn't it? It's on here. It's on top. I what? think you're yeah. thinking it's of mackerel. It's a male chicken. Is, is it not a, a Tottenham cockerel? badge? Yeah. <laughs> Why would you do that? A oh. Tottenham badge. Eat a Tottenham badge. <laughs> <laughs> but what is a cockerel? Is it a male chicken? One that does the cockle doodle do in the morning. I don't get that. But what? It's yeah. not a turkey, is it? No, it's not. It's is chicken. It a chicken? Yeah. Yeah, oh. cockerel. Oh, my God. So a chicken? Lovely. Is it turkey? Nice? I think it's... No, it's chicken. You know what it is? A cockerel. Why am I, I getting a thing fucking quiz on it? I have a thing that can't have before 12. <laughs> Even if it's like a 10 minutes... Like, really? It's a cockerel. <laughs> then you've all lied. Psychological. Can I be oh. honest? This food's amazing. It's food really nice. Enough. God, I'm like it. I can't stop eating. It has to be trifle for dessert. It has to be trifle. Have a cheese board. Trifle, Christmas Day. Oh, God. You have trifle. And Christmas put a penny in it. So over Christmas, we always got our break over Christmas, so we were different to you guys in terms of the season. Mm. So, so you we the never break. never played over did, did, Christmas. Did anyone here deliberately get booked oh, around no, Christmas? Oh, don't be silly now. Come no. It's funny because there's... Not deliberately, we, we got, but you did. <laughs> but there's a lot of people that got accused about at our place. Can't name any names. But they were suspiciously suspended for oh. Christmas. All right. But surely you still had to go to the game, right? Yeah, you do have yeah, to go to the game, but, yeah. like... You yeah. didn't have to be in a fit state. <laughs> yeah. But like, um, what I used to love about it, especially, especially when you to, when you go to Arsenal, I had to go from obviously from South to Croydon all the way up, and the roads were just like bare, and it was lovely, and you get there and all the lads, everything's really right. nice, because you probably have to train, and then you, you then you have to probably go oh, back, yeah. and then you might have to go into a hotel for for, for Boxing Day, which was always. People don't have no sympathy no, for players and, and that because... It's a young family. Especially yeah. when young family. You see, yeah. your, your kid, they don't understand. Why is he leaving? Where's he going? Yeah. On Christmas Day, was, you, was, was it when you were here, Roy? Or was it after you left that we brought in Father John to do the little ceremony in the morning? I think it may have been after you left. Right. To a little... <laughs> what, <laughs> over there. No, we did. We brought what, in like Father John. Yeah, to say a little... At least to do a little reading Obvious. to us Obvious. on Christmas morning. Nice. It was nice. Mm. Oh. Remind us of how lucky we were. Exactly. Yeah, but people always say with the guys, they're like, oh, but they get paid enough and all yeah. this. But it must be hard being yeah. away from your family it at is. Christmas. When you've got young really kids. Hard. Yeah, it is. You've got young family, yeah. Mm. It is. But but remember, I, do you get, remember I got banned from the Christmas too at United once? Do you remember that time? How did you get banned for the Christmas right. do? What to do? How did you get banned? Well, there was two do's. I, I think I must have been injured. There was a, the kind of reserves I having a night out. Yeah. And I went out with the reserves. <laughs> and I think there was a bit of bother in Manchester or something. Obviously, I was trying to be the peacemaker. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and obviously, the first team lads were going out, I think, one or two days later. And Ferguson came in in front of everyone. He said, uh, anyone seen drinking with me that day would be fine. Jesus. And the lads, yeah. You know, I wasn't logged on the, the Christmas. Well, when was this? Christmas. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, <and> Easter. <laughs> Easter. I forget what year. Year old, didn't you? <laughs> but I was looking at the players. I was waiting for one of the players to say, "Listen, don't worry." Yeah, that's we, what I was no, thinking. No, 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 no. So they just said you don't come. No, they didn't say you don't come, but they were saying the manager, you'd be fined. And I, I ended up going out by myself. I had a Christmas stew by myself. <laughs> Your team weren't very nice to you, <laughs> were they? Were they actually? Yeah. Honestly. I was like tolerating for that long. <laughs> My, my first ever. I went out by myself. You <laughs> Christmas do on your own. I swear, I went around all time. I had a great day. My first ever Christmas do. Yeah. Mm. You had to sing a song. Like, you, you know, you're young lads, mm. new signs, or young lads. <laughs> and a uh, free bar. <laughs> I'm dressed up. 
Well, it's not I, free. I ended end up singing an Everton song. No. Wow. Yeah. And you get an old beer thrown at you. I was an <laughs> Everton fan as a kid. I was home before 12 o'clock. That night? Well, I got put in a taxi. Done. I was at night or in the morning? Was you that bad? Night. Was you that bad? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Three bit, just thinking, oh, just, here we go. I was home at 12. Mm. I ended up in hospital one Christmas day. I was going to die. What happened? Someone spiked my drink. <gasps> really? Me, oh, I don't what know what it was worth. I honestly, definitely. Alcohol. <laughs> 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 did you drink that? Did you drink a lot, Gal? No. No, I didn't drink that much. I swear I was spiked. And you didn't have mobile phones back then. Mm. It was like I was 18. So I literally ended up going to. With no friends, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Good point. You got rid of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Just got an image of you and Phil with like bottles of WKD. Uh, like it, wick. <laughs> New Wicked at your Christmas day. I can't believe you. you obviously, you stayed till the end. <laughs> he didn't that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's <Hey>. dying, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a time um, when, I'm, when I'm drinking like that, because I'm not a, a, a good, a big drinker, um, where, you know, for a start, if I have a couple of people, that's me toilet, bam, 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 every second. But there's a time where I start feeling, if I carry on now and I, and I change this drink, yeah. I'm, I'm going to get drunk, I'm going to yeah. be sick. I, and I don't like it. The short. Are you I, a good drunk? I'm a, gr I, I probably, a happy drunk. You know, I'm a happy drunk. I need to be, I'm merry, I'm a merry drunk. Mm, yeah. I'm a merry drunk, you know what I mean? I'd have a laugh, but then Same as me. Yeah. I don't like, I don't like when I, um, <laughs> when I'm sitting there and then the music's giving you a headache. Oh yeah. Sitting, you, then you're starting to, you're just starting to haze and I'm just like, what am I doing? And I do that. What am I doing here? Bam, just get a taxi, I'll leave. Would you ever go out New Year's Eve? Or would you play New Year's no, Day? You have a game, no, you don't. Yeah, New Year's Eve, it's not on Yeah, no. same as me. No, but you have to go into London, <laughs> and New Year's Eve in yeah. London's awesome. We used to get fitness tested on the 1st of January. So they used to give us Christmas off, but we'd get fitness tested. And I remember going out one New Year's Eve, and I was like, I'll just have a couple, but you know, and it's a really good night. Yeah. And then we had to do a fitness test the next day. Oh my God, I could still taste the wine yeah. as I wow. was running around. But I did my best Coming performance, back up in your mouth. yeah. yeah. Right. But I actually did my best performance because have you ever done that in the week when you know you should have done things a little yeah. bit better and you're like, I can't let the manager know mm, yeah. that I had a drink or whatever. And I'd always play my best game, but I got like my record score on this and I could taste red wine in my mouth. Wow. Horrible. Talking of red wine, do, Horrible. Do, do, do we have red I've wine? I've never a wine drink. What, what, no, yeah. what no. would you drink? Jeez. Like, Anything but wine. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> what do you drink? Beer? Beer, or then, if you're full. Would you not have shorts. wine now, like red wine? No, uh, never wine. No, that's no, the wine. thing with me. Is no. I, don't, I haven't got a drink that I like. With those times, the drunken chat with some of the lads was mm. the bonding that you oh. needed. Some of the times you see the ones where some people they have a few drinks and that's where it comes out. They want to have yeah. it with each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The truth, the <laughs> truth you know what comes mean? out when you. The truth drunk, comes right? out when in, in those parties. Say, calm down. If he says one more thing, I want to knock him out. <laughs> 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 so you can't knock each other out when you're drunk. You're going to regret it in the morning. <laughs> Drunken man speaks a sober oh, man. Exactly, he does. Brilliant. Well, that's a good place to finish. <laughs> and bring in our elf. Oh, our elf. No dessert for our super tri for our oh, super six oh, predictions. Welcome to our super six prediction section, and I'm having a pretty good time. Top ten percent in the country, and Roy isn't very happy. Give us the bad news. Come on, well, man. I don't know. Right, Kate. Last week uh, points. Gary got seven. Oh. That's good. Which Seven's fine. is good. It's uh, top ten percent, and then. Roy, any regrets? Did we only get five or something? We were close, though. Did you listen to Ian? Did, did he listen to me with the Bournemouth? I don't think he I did. No, but if I listened to him the previous week with Everton and United, you know what I mean? Yeah, but like we said, he said Everton could have beat. Yeah. Everton could have beat. He did call it. Though, he I don't did. want to yeah, but law of averages, you're going to get one, right? No, no, no. But that, no, but no that I agree. Was, I, I, I put agree it out there, bro. Did. No, I agree. I was getting hammered, man. No, I agree. So then what, what do you mean, law of averages? I'm, I'm, I'm here to help you. You didn't want to help. I, I, know, said, I, I said, but I, I said, I don't know the scores that we went with you and I was right. Didn't, no, you didn't. No, we did. There was what, another you, one. No, we didn't. This is what a team. Let's okay, let's, go, let's get it's back. It's Christmas. It's, it's, it's very, yeah. 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 Is it Christmas? It's Christmas. <laughs> 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 oh, was it August? <laughs> yeah. Okay, no. Fuck me. You got two points, Roy. <gasps> oh, no. No, no. Yeah. Roy. No, you're saying Roy. There's two of us. You don't take my. I knew. Do you know what I what we got? Yeah. Roy. Oh, we were unlucky, though. Gary does really mm. well on these. No. No, and just something, they think too much, they talk too much, we just go for it. Instinct. You think? Yeah. They, they, they talk too much. Jill, you're on their side. Hey, we're up against it here. <laughs> right. Hey, did you hear that? Oh, right. Really yeah. right, next week games. <laughs> um, Should have gone with yours, then we'd have been seven. Tottenham v Everton, when's that? That's a good game. 
Come on, you Spurs. You go first. Difficult one, that one. I'm uh, on the fence with it a little bit. No, I think Spurs will win. Mm. Uh, yeah? Easy Spurs. Yeah. Three week. Everton. Yeah, three yeah, yeah, three week. Disappointed with the draw. Yeah, uh. Spurs. You're right, absolutely right. Yeah, but three, three, three one or two one? Three, three. Yeah. Two? Two. Two one. Two one. Two one. Two one. Mark London, two neck of the woods. Yeah, what's the vibe? Like gold in the woods. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two one. Set piece. Hey, move on quickly. Why you upset? For no, like I'm, trying, I'm going into it deep. Dude, you're I'm, I'm going deep. Be like Michael Jordan. You know when he misses a shot. Move on quickly. Move on quick. I have moved on. Yeah. Sorry? Your problem in a nutshell. What? My problem. It's too much. Come on, Jill, help him. What do you think? Do you think it's going to have a goal in him? Set piece. I think so. Three one. Come on. Three one. Oh. Three one. He's going for Spurs. Go on then. Come on. Hey, Andrew's doing. He's right. going with it. I'd have gone two two. So. Right, Luton Newcastle. I'd have gone two, two nil. nil. Is it Luton? Is it Luton? Yeah, is that Luton? No, no, no. Yep. Is that Luton. Luton Newcastle. <laughs> Luton Newcastle. Yours. Uh, um, New Luton at oh, home. Small yeah. ground are doing well, but Newcastle would. Uh, they'll be flat. It's a hard one, isn't it? That's, that's, a, tough, that's a tough game for Newcastle. Draw? Newcastle away from home been poor, haven't they? Yeah. Could Luton beat them? <coughs> when are these fixtures? What day? I'll I find out. Know. Oh. The weekend, isn't it? Um, what, are you working out for the being out for Is the it Christmas Friday or Saturday? Saturday? Is it the travelling or going on Christmas Day? Saturday, Saturday, Saturday these English fixtures. with Newcastle. 23rd. Oh, it'll be low. Uh, Three o'clock Saturday. Don't don't surprise yet. <coughs> I think they have a bit of fight and a bit of spirit in Newcastle. I give I them think, that. Um, what would a draw? Yeah, yeah I, I think, think draw. Draw. Go, I think... 1-1 um, one, one or 2-2. Two, two. Whichever one you want. You're going to override us. Your you? whole tone is, I'm not feeling it. I, I just feel like you, I, I just feel like you, you blame me too much for, for <laughs> what we haven't done and I'm still trying to comp compute. You're trying to help here, I'm trying like to, with I'm the Bournemouth advice, you know what I mean? That, you know, I'm trying to Do you know what it is? He's an actor it. now. He's an actor. <laughs> he's <laughs> board, you know what I mean? He's... You know something? I just, I, well, you go this. I think Newcastle win. You know the record away from home is really poor. Yeah, well, it's got to change. One of the worst in the league. change at some stage. Go on, right, you go. 2-2. 2 Oh. Ooh, yeah. Oh, interesting. So if it's a draw, any draw, we get the full points for that. For a loot and win it. No, no, no. Yeah, I think it'll be a, three o'clock there on, on Saturday. Newcastle will be. Oh, you're over. That's a light type. That's what noise me. Yeah, that's a pancake. What are you going to go with? One nil Luton. Yeah. One nil Luton. Oh, well, it won't, right. won't be one nil. Are you in the top? Uh, there won't be one goal in it. Will it? What's His that? predictions: top ten percent of the. You know what? We should get some country. Come on, you're go Forest. So new, no new manager. Forest and Bournemouth. They always get a result though. After when there's a manager. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. One one, one one, one one. Yeah, I'd go sit in defence. One one. No, I think they always get a result when they lose the manager. Bournemouth are decent. Bournemouth. Bournemouth in a good place. I'm loving. I'm loving Bournemouth. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you're yeah, a ball man. man. He yeah. called it last week. I just feel that I just feel that it's a, it's a good game for him. Two one. Then the manager gets off to a bad start. To Forest, you mean? I yeah, go with it. We, yeah. This is your baby. Go yeah, on. I'm gonna go with Bournemouth again. Yeah, but score two one. one Bournemouth. Hey, even three one. There you go. You're so that's what we do. Really? Three, you said three. No, no, no. I said two, two one Bournemouth. <laughs> even three. <one. laughs> you're a week late, writer. No, I'm <laughs> late. <laughs> is this right. us? Oh, what's this? Burnley, Fulham. Oh. Is this us or you? Fulham, Burnley. Fulham all day. Fulham. I'm gonna say two. 2-0 or 3-0 or 3-1. <laughs> you love three one. a tree, don't you? 3-1. love a tree. Forest, I used to play for Forest. We've got a 3-1. Three three. Three, yeah. three, where are they? Maybe 3-1. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two. What are you going with? Who do you think? Well, I don't know. Fulham. To Fulham, Fulham. Ben. Fulham. <laughs> Fulham. <laughs> Fulham. <laughs> Fulham. <laughs> Fulham. 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 It's Christmas spirit. Yeah, but this help doesn't. He's not helping it's us. Not bad it's enough. Dressed you're not like feeling it. You're like, no. He's not helping us. Yeah, but he's doing it begrudgingly. I mean, yeah. Yeah. smile. Where was your smile at smile. Forest when he was dressed like Robin Hood? And all the yes, the, the Robin Hood. You should have got dressed, dressed as the elf. Looking back, though. living the present. Living now. Smile. Come on, guys. Two nil. Two nil. Two nil. Overrated, Two nil Fulham. Two nil Fulham. See, I would have said two nil. I should be on your team. Yeah. These don't listen to me. Do you know this week? <laughs> so this week's special, isn't it, Leicester? This week's very special because I think the winner would get a million pounds, I think, oh. this week. What? Wow. Because there's been four oh, weeks where it's not been won. <laughs> wow. And that's, that's, that's a rollover. Right. And Do that's we why Leicester we get Rotherham. A million. Leicester Rotherham. Yes. You get the six oh, results Rotherham correct. Rotherham. Leicester Rotherham. Even us. That's about, I'm going to go. I off. don't know whether we qualify or, or not. <laughs> Do yeah, you, need you, could, the million you could give it to charity. 3 0. 3 0. Who is it? Who is it? If we won the million, we'd have to give it to charity. Yeah. Of course. That goes without saying. 3 0. It's us, isn't it? It's you, I think. It's, it's us. It's us. Leicester will win. Leicester will win. I know they'll win, but what's the you know? score? Top v bottom. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I think you don't say, Jill. Yeah, hey. I reckon. You've got a bit left field there. 3 0. See, he's just taking my score, so. I reckon Taken. they could get four, you know. No, the chat machine. No, no, no. I might score from a set. A three one, I think. Yeah, go on, yeah. Three one. Three one. Another three. Hey, you Birmingham love a three one. Just put one. every score at three one. Let's see, we come up with it. 
What big game this is. Oh, there we go. Oh. Here we oh. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stage is yours. Here we go. I think we beat him. Will nil, Virgil nil. keep a clean sheet? Will he be? Oh, yeah. Will he be arrogant? Yeah. Nil nil. This is where Arsenal lost the league last year, isn't it? This is where it just started, oh, wasn't yeah. it? A two nil lead. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I saw the finishing line. Cock it, was a cock no, it wasn't a cheek, it, was yeah. it was a cockerel. Okay. <laughs> as, as Man United fans, you lot should not be making any jokes about any kind of football right now. <laughs> none of them, none. I'm a Spurs fan. <laughs> I play for Man United. Man United. Spurs <laughs> is my team. Yeah? Spurs even is my team. Even more of a reason why you should. <laughs> I'm going to go Arsenal. I'm going to say Arsenal. Of course you are. I'm not going to watch. Right. Can you go for it? Oh, the Atkins give you a new... I feel like it's giving me a new energy. Yeah, you're... Liverpool's home record is unbelievable. You know, the thing is, is that I believe that we well, have what to... Score? What you said there, what you said there about last season and where it started to... Kind of the wheels started to shake a little bit, that's got to count for something for this team going But the score, you have to go I'm going to go with... Um, there won't be many goals in it. No, no, no I'm going to go 2-1 to us. 2-1 to Arsenal. Brilliant. Jill, are we agree? Well, it's written down now. <laughs> It's written, it's in the history now. It's a team, you know, just trying What do you think, James? James, give me your reason. See, I'm, I'm with, so, I'm with someone who can never go to Liverpool to lose, team. obviously. So you do no, it, no, no, I don't think Liverpool lose, but I'm I feel, but I, I, I think it'd be 1-1. One, one. You think so? Yeah. I don't think Liverpool win. Oh, you love a draw. It's just really two defenders. Yeah, what I like about these scores... Look at us, the attacking players, isn't it? Hey, three attacking players, two defenders. But can I just say... one nil, nil, nil. Just on... It's one You were beholden with Liverpool, though, your last game. You know something? When you look at the way they do theirs... You could easily look at ours. mad at me. I love the way he says that. What? Every opinion he gives. So he thinks Arsenal are going to win, he says... Well, Liverpool could win because they're mad, aren't they? I know, so he's I know. always like he's always You're covering your ass. Always yeah. does it. Tired in every of it, opinion. Well, I tell you what. I think Arsenal will win the it. league, but City could run away with a bunch of I'm going to nil Arsenal. Hey, he's a politician, isn't he? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. James, you're having you're that. Having you're, that. that. You're, you're, having that. you're a politician. I'm not having it, but it's it's going to be two nil Arsenal. Two nil Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liverpool won't score two games in a row at home. Are you for real? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, someone's, but hey, you had the same vibe. In, someone spiked his dinner yeah. as well as your Christmas dinner. Someone's, you remember? Was Merry it, Christmas. We, we, this was the same energy Thanks, with the Bournemouth. Thank you, Ben. Thank I you. might as well Same energy with the Bournemouth. Then. These things can happen. Yeah. Right, so we're, we're on to community <laughs> questions, and the first one is around... Oh, yeah, have we got something else? Oh, Trifle. sorry. Oh. Is it it's Christmas pudding? pudding? Yeah. Oh, wow. I love it, that. Oh. Spoons? I know. Yeah. Thank you. Look at that this. Is that cream or custard? Oh, I'll eat Thank you, custard. Katie. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Much. It looks like you've met your touch, Kate. That dinner was lovely. Thank this you. This is the best podcast I've ever been on. <laughs> Joy to the world. Oh, God. He'll give you a bonus for seeing that. A bonus. That. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, thank you. you. Oh, that was lovely. Oh, yeah. I'm not what, having what, these. What? Thank you. Can I put that on there? Jay, my friend. Do you like a bit of custard? I do oh. love custard and banana. Do you ever have that? There's no champagne. Oh, God. God's the first thing we've ever agreed wow, on. Wow, that's quite nice, that. last. Yeah. <laughs> right, so the first one is around a live subject. Nuno has just been appointed as the manager of Nottingham Forest. Mm. Should Nottingham Forest have sacked Steve Cooper and will Nuno Espirito Santo do a good job? The fans loved him. I was in Lapland well, with a lot of Nottingham to, Forest well, fans. i tell you something, but what's that got to do with it? I know, but he has no, but, actually no, no, done... Just because they love him. He's not no, done, but he when has he, done he, a good job. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you expect I, this I season agree. that they get done, Champions League? I think league? he has done a good job. So well, do you think they should have got rid of him? Uh, I would have given him a bit longer. Yeah. But I would say that about most managers, unfortunately, because I've been there. Yeah. But this idea of people loving each other, is it a game about just love? Mm. It's a business, you got to win, you know? But is it realistic for them to win a lot of games this season? I think the expectations is, is, I think is the high with the owner, yeah. Much. Mm. Well, too much. Well, I agree. That's the owner. But, you know, the I, thing I know is Steve Cooper to... quite yeah. well. Mm. Uh, he used to coach my son at Liverpool's Academy, so I've, I've got to know him. And the journey he's been mm. on is fantastic. But the love comes from, basically, he was the guy who brought Forrest up. Yeah. But mm. they were in a team, even at that time, who were probably threatening. I think they, were they bottom of the league, right? They were. They yeah, near they were. Yeah. In the yeah. championship. Yeah. yeah. got them up, so oh, done great, he's yeah. going to be loved for that. Yeah. Keeping them up last year, I think, was really good. Obviously, yeah. they're on a bad run now, and I think any manager in the Premier League, if they go like 13, 14 games and they win one, whether you're a, a top team, a small team, you're, you're going to be have a problem. And I know, n not giving secrets away, I think everybody yeah. knows, there's always been a bit of friction between him and the owner. Mm -hmm. He is bringing players in, the discussion we had earlier. So this was always going to happen. It was just when. And I actually think it's a good time for Steve Cooper yeah. because 
we're all, most people will say it may be a little bit harsh, you should have had longer. So I think that helps you in terms of maybe getting another job because you're yeah. seen as being harshly treated yes. rather than staying yeah. till say, middle of yeah. January yeah. and you're still on that run and then you're in the bottom three and people say, well, obviously he's got to go. Uh, if you're going to get sacked, as, <laughs> honestly, as a manager, you might as well get sacked just before Christmas. Yeah. Good payoff. Yeah, Caribbean. Yeah, well, listen, whatever, chill out. Yeah, but what do you, but what do you want to said yeah. last year, remember, he would have got rid of them, but he didn't have a replacement line. He said that at the end of last year. Do you want to come out and said that? I think the fans have kept him in the job last season yeah. at yeah. times. And that all helps, certainly, yeah. if you got... You know what, and a, you know what when you listen to... home record when and you, momentum has been deep. When you listen to the, to the owner talking about top 10 team yeah. and you're just oh, no. blasting in loads of players oh, into, this, into okay. this guy, it's unrealistic, yeah. his yeah, ambition in respect of what he wants to do. And you look at the players... And, you, you, you know, you look at Gibbs White, it looks like he's got some potential, you can kick on that. But like, all the signings and everybody that they've got, we're not talking about bringing in Neto or Neves or, you know, that kind of signing where you think, oh, yeah, we don't know him, but he's amazing because he'll take us to that But they've spent a lot of money, level, right? They've spent they? a lot of money, but, like, I'm just, what I'm saying yeah. is, is that he hasn't got the players that's going to make them be able to push for 10th because it's unrealistic with yeah. the squad he's I, And we forget, I honestly, I think the most important thing, whatever you, I think that second season, yeah. I know it has all changed at the club and they brought in apparently 40 odd players over the last two, three mm. years. That second season, they're lucky there's obviously three kind of yeah. obviously worst teams at this moment in time. That second season for any obviously team that's just come, it's very, very different. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Last I, I spoke to Steve Cooper, we did the game, didn't we, on fr uh, yeah. a Friday, they played Tottenham, got beat his last game. And he said, he spoke to me about that before the game. He was sort of saying, people forget, even like, like a Brighton, mm. if you like, their first two or three seasons in the Premier League were a real like, struggle. It's just like, yeah. just stay in the yeah. league, stay in the league. <coughs> and I think he felt that a little bit. It's just about staying in the league again, solid. And then you'll have that season where maybe you do all right or one, one or two players can change it. I do think that is probably the one club, well, there might be another one, in the Premier League where the manager, and I know this, mm. Yeah. There are players coming in where he Definitely. hasn't got a clue. That's 100%. That must be that so they're coming in. And, and to be fair, I spoke to him about it. And he said something, I thought, fair play to him. He said, it's not the players' fault, is it? it uh, you know what I, mean? what I mean is that the manager can't just go, oh, I didn't want him. Yeah. He said, they're good lads. Yeah. He said, and, and to be fair, he said, two or three of them are good players as well. So it's not like... Out of 40. <laughs> yeah, but what I mean is you can't just go, I never bought him, so I'm not yeah. playing. We said, yeah. they're decent lads, you yeah. know, I've got a time. Such an horrible in, position for And he said the in. training ground's a nightmare. In, in, how would you put a session on? Yeah. He said, yeah. he's, got a, he's got a lad from Argentina. I think he scored the winning penalty to win the World Cup. He said, I can't even get him on the bench. It's Montiel, like, Montiel, Montiel. Said, so when you're doing the, like, the team shape or whatever, he said, it's not like he's saying to a couple of the young lads, go and play with the train with the 23. Mm. He said, the proper players. You yeah, ask any yeah, manager, yeah. talk yeah. about needing players. Yeah. The biggest problem for our managers, you have too many players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. Because again, you've good, decent lads, great lads. Yeah. <laughs> in the background, and you can't even get involved in a session, mm. even 11 v 11, you've got some really good players, and you're going, and what happens is people do get fed up with that, and that just creeps into the atmosphere around the training ground. Yeah. It, but Nuno, no, yeah, but can I say, Nuno coming in? Yes, I was going to say. Um, but they were playing quite counter-attacking anyway. Mm. Is it a case of, well, let's at least bring a manager in who does that pretty well? Well, it's, it, it's probably easier for him to come in. He knows exactly what he's got. He's not got load, blasted in a load, so he knows what he's got, so he, he knows what he's going to work with. So then you have to see how they respond to that. Remember, it, it's, well, Steve Cooper's lost the one year. He's lost his goal yeah, scorer. Yeah, exactly. Huge. You know what I mean? It's just it's like... It's, yeah. it's, it's, but it's, I, like, it's so, it's but so I, unfair. But I thought last week, to be fair, and I know they're maybe not the greatest players in the world by a stretch, I thought having Wood and Origi up front would have been a fab... <gasps> And, and I know they're not great players. Let's just hear me out. If you, if you, I love Divock Origi, but he's, he's, right. he's not a good footballer. But what I'm saying to you, if you're the Tottenham <laughs> centre halves, Romero and Ben Davis, I think you're playing against two lads. Uh, I forget who played up front. Gibbs White mm -hmm. and. Um, Alanga? Alanga. Alanga, yeah. So not forwards. Mm -hmm. They're playing against. No, they're, they're playing it's against okay saying they're quick. Yeah. I don't think. If, if you're not a centre forward mm -hmm. and you're playing centre forward, it's a struggle. It's a tough position to play. It's like goal. It's, a, it's the hardest position on the pitch to play other than goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. So for me, the idea that you put Alanga up front because he's quick, or Gibbs White up front, the idea of having two centre forwards up there who are experienced, who could be a target and a point for attack, I just thought that to me was. I think Nuno will bring at least one of those two in. Yeah. But it's amazing in manager's time. Even I think it was going. I'm going back a month or two now. Where they tune up against Luton at home. That was the killer. Yeah. And they draw killer. two two. Yeah. We've all been there, and there's certain results you go. That's, that's cost them. That's the yeah, momentum, yeah, yeah, the feel yeah, good yeah. factor, yeah. and you've an owner there who's just waiting. Yeah. He's just yeah. waiting to say. 
I'm going to get rid of it. And it was, only, it was a dead man walking, Rodney, in the last month or two. It's like, you got one more game. I think they lasted Fulham recently. Yeah. <coughs> Can you imagine him getting... What an environment that is to work mm. with. I know you're under pressure, but it's like every week, it's like, is the manager going to be in today? Is he gone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine him getting another job? And like you say, because of his goodwill around yeah, he'll him, he'll get, get... get a job and he'll go into a place without the chaos around yeah. him. Yeah. Mm. Can, he, he won't be. He'll be absolutely loving that. That's what I give him credit for. Yeah. Whatever, the team have done well, but how he's managed yeah. the madness around. We're talking about football management, recruitment, managing upwards, managing yeah. upwards with an owner. We spoke about yeah. the owner recently mm -hmm. when I spoke to him or whatever, and the way he's treated other managers, whether it be Martin or Neil, other people. That's where I think Steve Cooper has done really well, and he's shown a lot of class. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The next question is on managers' behaviour and do we think managers are overstepping the mark? This season we've had 33 cards so far given to managers. Wow. In the Premier League? or In the Premier League. Right. I know there's been a new directive. Last season in total we have 37. I personally, I'm going to open this with an opinion, I actually think the managers are getting out of control on the touchline. I'm not, you know, from a point of view of all of them, but I, I, I look at them sometimes, I think, it's unbelievable. What are they doing? Yeah. They're jumping you, around. You mean Arteta, Jeez. don't you? Oh, they're jumping around. They, 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 they're, they're, they're into the fourth officials all the time. Like, not just like if it's a really bad yeah. decision. It's like all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So, it so just feels... So, so, Gab, what... So, so, you, so you don't think... pressure? No, pressure. no. Are you quite defensive? I, on not, I'm not going to no, go no, 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 no. I'm not going to be defensive, but I'm saying for what they're booking some of them for, it doesn't need to ha that doesn't need to happen when we're talking about. So you're comfortable with managers' behaviour this season? At, yeah, it's not, it's, not, it's not something that I'm bothered about, especially when you see some of the bookings. I think he stepped out of it a little bit and then he, he booked him for that. With passion, with, this, with, with what's going on with this season, with some of the decisions, the managers, they could be even more angry with some of the things. I think they've done pretty well. But now we're going to be kind of like, like we're punishing people for, for, for showing passion and, 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 and emotion because things have happened where they feel wrong. Oh, they're abusing the referees, some yeah. of them. Mm. Yeah, but, yeah, oh, we've but, all done yeah, it, listen, by the way. So not, we've listen, all done it around this table. Yeah, yeah but, the thing is, <laughs> Gal, but the thing is, Gal, yes, with, with that, of course you don't want them abusing them, but for some of the things they're booked for, stepping outside, you know, trying to find out... Well, well there was one he was booked for, but that Luton was just a nonsense, because he, he, he's obviously gone outside. They scored a last-minute oh, goal. He Luton, got have you seen the dugout? That was have you seen nonsense. what it's like? Did yeah. he get booked a weekend? Yes. What did he get booked a weekend for? I think he was obviously he was obviously shouting onto the referee and the fourth official said he, he's overstepped the map. But there's no doubt they're looking for Arteta because he, he is lively on the touch. I sometimes think he's that close to the pitch sometimes. I think if I was playing, yeah. I'd be like... When you look at... Well, it wasn't, this question look, wasn't about Arteta. It was no, about no, it, yeah, but the thing is, I'm speaking about Arteta because he's the one that everybody <laughs> kind of like points is. the fucking finger at all the time. But <laughs> you look at you look at <laughs> Arsenal in respects of how the players are, are playing and performing with their manager so-called like over-passionate, over-emotional. Got the, we're, we're number one in the fair play, fair play league in respect to that. Mm. We're not doing it. It's not like we're, it's transmitting onto the pitch and our players are out of order like we just saw um, that, that massive, um, what was it? Was it Brentford Turkey. Villa? Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 what are you on about? <laughs> 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 I was eating the football in Turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know what I mean? So it's yeah. not like it's transmitting. It's not like we're, we're saying... So you don't think there's a problem? Oh, you don't think there's a problem with behaviour? No, no, no. Forget I don't know. Do you think there's a problem? No, I don't. I think I think it's it's bubbling. Yeah. And it's almost like maybe it does need stamping down on, and maybe a couple of managers, Jürgen Klopp being one, might be the ones who, who get the, the full force of it, maybe Arteta. Mm. The thing you just said then, the pressure of it, the thing that fascinated me with Arteta was what I see on the touchline, it's almost a completely different person to the person I played against. Yeah. He wasn't really that emotional. We played derby games. He was one of Everton's best players, a silky player. But you'd never think yeah. he was at a referee or he was into his own yeah. players. The and managers think, brought the dog out of him. Yeah, That's what it is. Me. But what I would say, so I think some of the bookings he's got, they over celebrating the odd thing coming up to you think, oh, just there's no need for that. But I do think he shouldn't have got away with the if he, once he'd been charged with what he'd said after Newcastle mm. and the defence was there was a translation difference between what you say in Spain about saying something's a disgrace, it means something different in Spain. Mm. That was nonsense. Oh, wasn't right. it? I don't care. But has he done that a couple of times? It was a disgrace. He's done this a couple of times, right? Uh, no, but I see managers but doing all that. He got off it because in Spain, yeah. Good. Different. Oh, that's, yeah. Disgracia. Disgracia. Thank you. But how? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. it's a Spanish coming in there. The Valencia fans used to sing together. Disgrace. That's a good one. Disgracia. The only thing is, we've got a manager who's going for it hard, right, with a young team and, they, and, they, and they're on the road. And they, I'll ask you a question, a different question. Uh, completely separate, like, mm. you, you've brought on to Arteta, I haven't. <laughs> Do you think actually that passion, that emotion on the side of the pitch actually is helping young players? 
What does it seem like it's not helping? No, but do you think? Do you think it actually in the pressure moments at the end of a season? Do you think it will help them? No, because I think they're getting used to how the manager is. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, like George Graham would. George Graham would be like livid. I mean, you say, oh, in it, the dressing room like, or on the side of the pitch? Both of them. Like if, if, you're, not, if you're not doing stuff, yeah. you know what I mean? He'd be like if because he, like if he if he's got the ump with me, he won't he won't start shouting at me. He'll go, Lee, tell Tony to tell Nigel to tell Ray to tell Wrighty. <laughs> Make some runs! <laughs> right? Because, like, some of the times, me and, like, he'd say something to me and he'd say, Make runs. I'm making runs. He's just saying stuff. I never held it against him because he's in the game. He's in the passion of the game. How did you, Managers. How did you want your manager to be, though, on the side? Because I quite liked when they were just calm because I felt like we were in control. We knew our plan and it was like we're just going to go and execute it. When I seen the manager like this, I was like, oh, my God, it's going wrong. We're panicking. And I think it does sometimes transfer onto the pitch. You? You, you want no. a manager to be himself. They're obviously passionate about it, but it has to be aligned on. Course. What were you like on the side? I was no, Calm. I was, I was, I was pretty were you calm? Yeah. yeah. We, 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 we I, I didn't down even there. listen to. <laughs> once you get on there, a long I'm not even back, interested yeah. in the yeah, manager. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. not interested yeah, until we I'm go back. In, you know what I mean, yeah. Roy? He speaks. He, he said, "Ian, I know you can hear me. I know you can hear." Me. I wouldn't even look at him. Yeah. We had uh, Benitez. He didn't even celebrate a goal. He oh, didn't even like change. Yeah. He was Just so. Calm. I, always yeah. Find yeah. That I don't get that either. No, no. I just bit like. How do you suppress? This is the argument. You want managers to be passionate, don't you? If they're celebrating goals, I have no problem. They shouldn't be booked for that. Yeah, they shouldn't be booked for celebrating goals. Uh, unless they're inciting some sort of crowd violence of some kind. They shouldn't be celebrated for jumping out of the box. You know, you think about Alex Ferguson's celebration with Brian Kidd all those years yeah. ago on the pitch. You can't be booked for that. Mm. No. That's what we want in football. But I think, I do think there's a little bit of a, an edge where the fourth officials and it's just, ah, oh, I feel like it's, yeah, a bit yeah. St on the edge. It's like I feel it's on the, the edge. If they step outside of the box, it's like you said, like, what's it for? Is it for a goal celebration? Is it a shout yeah. at players? Like, I feel like we're very, like, black and white about things, but there is that side of what's the intent behind it. And they, I think, I don't think they should get booked for I celebrating. I think, that, what's it called, Jill, as well? I think that if they put the energy into how much they're worried about yeah. managers on the side who are being passionate and open and, and asking, like, how, how can Gary O'Neill not be vexed with them, with what's happened to Wolves? And asking him stuff, and then he says, "Oh, right, come and book him, come well, and book him for this." But that. when they get booked, what's the big deal? All the time we're getting booked. <laughs> no, just but, Arteta, but what I'm saying is, now they have to go to the so Arteta in the Villa game. Mm, he, he was a the build bench. up of yellow cards, yeah, obviously. Yeah, so it's like, like a player, player thing, yeah. right? Builds yeah. up, okay. Like but I said, I don't need my manager. they've still got technology to speak to the staff anyway, yeah. haven't they? They're all on all the. It was funny things. yesterday. I was coming home in the in the car from somewhere, but so I was listening to the games on the radio. And the fella said, it was the Chelsea Newcastle game, and he said, Pochettino's having a right rumble, you know, with the mm. Newcastle bench. And I knew it wasn't Eddie Howe. Mm. I know. It was Jason Tingle. Yeah. <laughs> of course it was. Of course it was. Of course it was. I, see, another one. No problem with Jason Tingle. Yeah. Last None question. I was watching Chelsea Newcastle, and you tweeted out that you think that basically, <laughs> forget extra time. Oh, yeah. We should have 90 minutes, and then we should go straight to penalties. And that was it. Carte Blanche. No sort of explanation. That's what you feel football to do moving forward. Well, well, number one, there isn't that many extra times. You've got maybe in a cup final or... Does the FA Cup have extra time now, even when it's you're... After, I think it's... Yeah, it does have extra time. Yeah. OK, but my point is... In the every... Sorry, extra time in the final, it does, yeah. OK, but every extra time I've ever been involved in, we have this sort of vision when people argue for it. Like everyone's still going for the game. Yeah. My experience is everyone's like, everyone's knackered and everyone's like, I don't want to make, make some mistakes. Yes, but yes. you're almost... In Istanbul... Because obviously the way the game had gone, but we we would we were just playing for penalties mm. in the extra time. You're a bit mm. like an extra half an hour. I remember a cup final against uh, West Ham as well a year later. Mm. Again, everyone's that tired, and I just I just think with the amount of football anyway, it international just football as well. You mean what about the World Cup Everything, final? World yeah, Cup? I just don't get it. Yeah. I just World think, Cup final last year though yeah. had an unbelievable extra unbelievable. time. Unbelievable. Yeah. 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 There's three ones that you can yeah, point at, but I think the majority of extra times that Holland. you look at, uh, you're playing for penalties. You're, yeah. you're both, and and until I remember watching. I remember watching it when I was younger, the FA Cup and that, and it would get to the, to the extra time, and then it'd be quite slow, and then someone would score, and then this team would then react, yeah. Yeah. rather than just like just leave it. With far now, you play extra time anyway yeah. for about yeah. twenty minutes. You know what I mean, just I, I don't mind that, James. I don't mind it ninety minutes. I just don't think it's needed. I just just go straight to it. Mm. Have you, anything else you'd like to discuss on this Christmas special, or should we go home? What are you asking Christmas? Santa for for Christmas? Um, Arsenal League title. You know something that would be amazing. Arsenal title, and, and you know it what? almost feels just set. I just want them going for like it. Your, your last match of the day, 
Yeah. Oh, oh, that'd be lovely. Ian. It just set, doesn't it? And then we do a film about it. Oh. Ian. You know, so could you imagine? And then if it doesn't happen, we'd be devastated. Oh. Because I do genuinely believe we've got a great chance. And that's why the, the game against Liverpool, I'm so intrigued by it because I want to see how we react to what happened last year. Because you're right, Jamie. Everybody was expecting, oh, let's see what happens when they get to Liverpool. They've got to use that. They've got to fuel that. You know what I mean? Liverpool, Liverpool might play for a draw. You know what I mean? Counter attack. You will if Roy Hodgson takes over. Yeah. <laughs> what a place to finish. Merry Christmas to Merry everybody. Christmas. Nice one, guys. Thank you. We've had a wonderful year. <laughs> and Merry Christmas, Roy. Merry Christmas. Nice one, Roy. Babe. Nice one, Roy. Straight in the bin when I get home. <laughs> what kind of bin do these? What kind of bin do these go in? The blue one, the and green the, I one. I think they got, that goes in the they blue got one. Full style on. It goes into. It's got a stain on it already. That was on the person who already. Got... Oh, oh, Shut him in. Yeah. Wait, Karen, you come. Karen, get yourself in. You look like Brian Harvey. <laughs>